Once the materials and the design specification have been received, the installation process can begin. The first fixing process can vary depending on the building structure, but the most common method used today is a screed above subfloor. First, a damp-proof membrane is placed over the subfloor so that it extends up and over the external blockwork. Next, edge insulation is placed around the external walls to eliminate thermal bridging. Then a sufficient layer of ground insulation, which gives the required U-value to meet current building regulations, will be placed on top of the membrane. Lengths of rapid rail are then positioned roughly a metre apart, running in a perpendicular direction to the underfloor pipe using the red clips provided. The red Qualpex barrier pipe is then positioned according to the pipe layout diagram using the rapid rail and green clips to hold it in position. Only when all the pipes are laid and run back to the manifold can they be pressure tested to ensure that the pipe has not been damaged during the installation process. The pipes can be tested through the manifold using either air or water depending on local weather conditions. First, the drain valve of the flow manifold is connected to a main supply. The drain valve of the return manifold is then connected to a drain hose positioned over a bucket. Next, both shut-off valves on the manifold should be closed. The manifold comes supplied with the flow meters fully closed, thus preventing water from flowing through the underfloor pipes. To open the flow meters, slide the white plastic lock shield collar up and then turn fully counterclockwise. Water will now flow through that loop and out the drain valve of the return manifold into the bucket. This process should be repeated for all loops until water flows out the drain valve of the return manifold at full bore. Now that the system is filled with water, the drain valves can be closed and the hoses disconnected. Next, a pressure test kit is connected to one of the drain valves and then opened. The system will be pressurised to 6 bar for an hour and then dropped to 3 bar and left stand overnight. Only when the pressure test has been deemed successful can the pressure be further reduced to 1 bar and the drain valve closed and the pressure test kit removed. Only when all pipes have been pressure tested through the manifold can a 4 to 1 sand cement screed be poured to a thickness of between 65 and 100 millimetres. The screed should be allowed to dry for roughly one week per inch. Now that the screed is dried, the second fixing process of connecting the underfloor manifold to the boiler can begin. A practical and efficient method of achieving this is by using a primary, secondary system. The primary loop simply consists of a loop of copper positioned between the boiler's flow and return outlets on which a primary pump is fitted. The underfloor manifold is connected to the primary loop through the first pair of T's via the underfloor pump and mixing valve. The upstairs manifold system is connected in a similar fashion through the second set of T's. This manifold will be controlled by a separate pump and mixing valve positioned close to the upstairs manifold. Finally, the last set of T's will be used to connect the domestic hot water cylinder to the primary loop. Two wiring units are used to control the entire heating system, both of which are designed with lights to help indicate the operation of the system at all times. Finally, a time clock is used to time on and off all systems. To wire the system, all thermostats and their corresponding actuators are wired into the top and bottom of the wiring centre. Next, the underfloor pump will be wired out of the pump connection on the centre. Now the wiring centre is connected to the heating control panel, followed by the primary pump, the boiler and the time clock. The wiring is completed by connecting the cylinder pump and thermostat to the corresponding connections on the panel. The upstairs underfloor system is wired in a similar manner, but will use the downstairs heating control panel.